What's up, Ryan? What's up? What's up? They're hitting them with the old school, with the eight ball. Yeah, this is actually from um, Homage by New York. Shout out to Yaya. Um, she's doing her thing right now in the fashion scene. We collaborated. Homage by New York Unicorn. Um, cotton candy windbreaker crop top suits is coming. Well, they here. Actually, you could go shop homage by New York.com. I like uh, when you uh, went and got your breast reduction. Was... Oh, I got my breast done. Yeah, and the gut, like, I Big know you was dumb scared. Oh, yeah, of course I was scared. I mean, I was shitting in my pants because I... <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. I was like, oh, my God. And then I'm so little. Like, I feel like, you know, maybe my body can't handle a certain amount of pain or, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. How but I did it. How long did it take? Yeah. It was 45 minutes. It was like a shopping spree. What? <laughs> it was like I ran up the tab in Dr. Miami's office for 45 minutes, and then that was it. And then the healing process. Oh, man. Horrid. Just completely horrid. Like, I, I didn't want to take the medications because, you know, I mean, I don't judge nobody, but I really am an advocate against, like, serious hard drugs, you know, my story with my mom and stuff like that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I didn't want to take the medicine, and it was, like, it was hell. How mom's juice and everybody doing? She's well. She's well. Yeah. Yeah, you take a I know about watching a TV show. Yeah. You know, I'm talking about your mom. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does really. I mean, like, but... you can't sit down for like three weeks or you gotta sit on like a pillow or something i didn't end up doing my butt but that's what i originally wanted to do yeah i was like you know what um when i bend over it look round anyways so <laughs> you know so this is your first or second season this is my third season. Third season. Yeah. How was it doing the first season? Were you a little bit nervous? Or you, were you like, what, what are we getting into? What the fuck is going on in here? Absolutely. I was completely in limbo at all times. So I, I was always like, I always had anxiety and I was always on edge. You know, it's, it's very scary coming into situations like that, especially being the person that, you know, I'm working on not being, you know, like an aggressor and stuff. I know the show kind of like villainizes me a lot, but, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Who, um, who are your influences? Um, well, Queen Latifah, you know, okay. obviously I'm from Jersey, so shout that's, out Jersey. Uh, yeah, okay. shout out to Jersey. Um, she's somebody I've looked up to for years and, you know, um, musically she's done such great things. Uh, Missy Elliott, uh, Lauren Hill, Remy Ma, uh, Eve, you know, that was, I was getting caught in the kitchen by my mama singing Love is Blind, getting my ass whooped, for singing the song, <laughs> so, you know, they, they were definitely huge influences on me. And now being in Jersey City, was it hard for being a female MC? Oh, absolutely. Especially because, you know, a lot of people have this perception of me because I look like a white girl uh -huh. that, you know, um, I'm trying to be something I'm not or whatever the case may be. But, you know, it just it just it motivates me to go harder to prove them wrong, you know, because I already proved it to myself. I'm a winner. So did you think that you would be real friends? on the show or yeah. you thought it was going to be like some fake right? no I, I met a real friend shout out to my cancer sister Bianca no matter what we go through you know that's my sis and um, I've been with her you know since the beginning of the journey and I love her to death and we support each other you know we have our moments yeah, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. ultimately you know we got each other's back so that's all that matters was there ever a point where you got crazy tipsy talk that you were like I don't want to do this you know like um, I don't want to take a break um, I don't think I ever got crazy tipsy, but depression, and I know a lot of people don't like to speak on this, but in the industry, this is a big thing. Like, you know, a lot of people tend to lash out and do things and stuff like that because, you know, it, it does become depressing sometimes because, you know, you're so much in the public eye. There's so much pressure on you to be this role model for the youth and to, you know, utilize your platform for all the right reasons. Um, so it is hard, yeah, sometimes to maintain. Um performances you give it your all oh I do I mean literally there's been times where I walk off stage and I'm like <gasps> like I'm about to throw up cause I'm yeah cause you know I'm going that hard like I'm giving y'all my all and you drinking too no, well, I'm not all shows because normally when I do performances, what happens is um, they don't see me and then I do the performance and then I'll go to my section and pop my bottles and take pictures and engage with everybody and stuff because I really love to engage with all of my uh, fans and my supporters. How did, you, how did you meet up with the Gwynn? 
Gwen and Self. Shout out to Self and the whole Gwen and team. Yeah. It's my family for life. Um, Self is. I met Self actually through someone I was working with in the very beginning of my career. Um, and I don't know what Self saw in me, but you know we had showed him once upon a time, and he got really excited about the record. And the next thing I know, I was on the radio. Then the next thing I know, I was being taken off the radio because. VH1 loved the record so much, they were like, we uh, want to cover this. Because I know, you know, you keep really like, I'm with the Gwen and God, this bitch is Yeah, yeah you, know. you know. really rapping for the Gwen and God. Yeah, I love self. Um, I'll always be Gwen and no matter what. You was a little bit tight, too. Oh, um, yeah, I was tight. Like, was chicken all that being on there, Dream um, No, actually, me and Dream were really cool. Well, we are still very cool, Um, okay. but we always had a relationship. You know, we always had a, a friendship, like... You know, we weren't like best friends, best friends, but I think that um, you know, we definitely support each other. She used to, you know, dance to my record. Um, not dance, but you know, she's she was a bartender. She don't bartend anymore. Um, God bless. You know, because I used to dance and bartend too. So I've been out of that lifestyle for a long time, and it's it's really a hard lifestyle to get out of. Um, so but yeah, we had a friendship always, and um, so it was really unfortunate that you know other people's problems kind of hindered that. But we back on track. We got projects coming, so Life in Plastic, Tax yeah. Loaded, Drop yeah. It March 5th, you know. We doing our thing, like. You still speak to some of the girls? Do you, do you beef with some of the girls? Um, No, right now I honestly don't have any beef with anybody. Like, yes. I don't, uh-uh. Like, I'm beefing with myself right now. Like, get in the studio. Like, get, do these videos. I, I'm beefing with myself. Yeah. <laughs> Every day, I'm like, get up. <laughs> get to this interview on time, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I just, I don't want to fight nobody. Like, I want to. I want to focus on my craft and just evolving. How's it like being on VH1? Just like, um, it's 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 a gift and a curse. I mean, they're absolutely amazing. You know, a lot of people like to kind of like talk down on them and say they ruin lives and stuff like that. I will say this: the show definitely, you know, ruins bonds, but it's not their fault. You know, when you're put in um, a situation where you are forced to, you know, defend yourself the only way you know how to. Like me, I grew up, you know, in Jersey City, and I haven't always had the easiest life. I've been picked on all my life. I've been bullied, you know, because I've lived in projects, and you know, I'm like very noticeable I yeah, stick out yeah. you know so um, I've been bullied and stuff so you know it's hard you get crucified from being on the show and, and stuff but I feel like with my story like I've always been real and everything for me that you see is organic it's it's real like like I know it's like you know when you get into the arguments and they talk about your family and I know it's real because it's like damn you know like yeah. how much of each one trying to get out of that you know but, um, um, to keep it all real, like everything for me, like I said again, is real. Um, you know, we obviously is not scripted. They don't tell you what to say or whatever, but you know, you are assigned a day to day producer and they talk to you and see what's going on, how you're feeling. And then on the opposite side, you know, they have a producer too, seeing how they're feeling. And, you know, sometimes things flow outside of the show. You know what I'm saying? And people start arguing via social media and Instagram and stuff. And then it's like, you know, you could be cool one minute and then a fan say something or trigger something and there you go. It falls apart. Um, real quick, 888-Shade45. The phone lines were ringing and someone was not paying attention to the phone. Oh. But besides that, uh, we're here. We're going to get into one of your joints. Yes, let's do it. That, now, now, um, production... Mm-hmm. I know you got the album coming out soon. When is the album coming out? Um, we're working on that. But okay. first we got Tab Reloaded featuring Remy Ma dropping March 5th. So I'm super excited about that. Now, how was that working with Remy? Like, it was, like, crazy. amazing. And I, I, I'll say this time and time again. I don't get tired of saying it in interviews. It was a dream come true. Like, I really looked up to Remy so much. So for her to take the time to really do that, like... And then, you know, like, for me to... Like, with the fighting thing, you know, it was like... When she sat me down, it was like, whoa, like... You know, how can I clear this record if you acting like this? How can I, you know, present this to the labels or, you know, and it all made sense. And it was like, yo, I got to chill. Right, right, you know? right. Because after a while, right, you're your own woman, you're your own Yeah, family, and you right? know, you as you grow, you, you understand more and more that you can't, like, the more you give people the power to get that reaction out of you is the weaker you really are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though we know that people want to see the feistiness and stuff like that, but, you know, with conflict, there can be resolution. You know what? You know what? I want to hear the music. Yeah, let's get into it. Because that's what it's really about. <laughs> and if you notice, I take my music very serious because, you know, 
I make sure that my music, I get music looks. I've had four music looks this season, three last year, three the year before. So I think that I'm always on top of my music. Like, that's the one thing that is my baby. Like, And shout out to all the producers I'm working with. Let me just say this. Swift on Demand, Keanu Music, Sito on the Beat, Brett Beats, James Easy, Tina Bugatti, Marv. That's my music manager. I'm sure you know Marv and stuff. Uh, Shout out to Ace. I'm about, you know, me and Ace are signing for management. And um, shout out to Terrell Everett. He's my best friend and one of my protectors. So I love everybody so much. And thank you. Yeah. That's what's up. Mariah Lynn, don't go anywhere. Yeah. She's going to be back. We're going to be back. The Lord says special. Let me enjoy it. Yeah, the phone's ringing and nobody's picking up. They got the phone! <laughs> Mike, let me get your phone real quick. I text you saying I need that. It's dead? Oh, damn. Text it to SR then. Give me. S, give me your phone. We play. <laughs> Let him eat it like an ice cream. Said he want a pipe, but he see me on a white screen. Thank you. Too much money in the Right now. <laughs> I'm in the cut right now. 